The average man is overweight. A study has found that one in eight of the world's population are now classed as obese. Doesn't even have a thousand dollars to his name. Men in their prime working years are actually not working. And hasn't had an intimate relationship with a girl in over a year. This disconnect can have catastrophic consequences for young men. That ends today. Because in today's video, I'm gonna give you a seven step, scientifically backed method on how to fix your life by getting in shape, getting out of debt, and getting more attention for women. My brothers aren't gonna be the average. Let's get into it. Number one, you gotta determine if you are average. It's okay to be average. The problem becomes that most men don't realize the great potential they have, and because of that, they remain average their entire life. So to start, I'm gonna ask you a series of questions to determine if you fit the profile of an average man, because my mission is to not allow you to stay average. One. Do you play video games for more than 2.7 hours a day? Two, do you use social media for more than 4.7 hours a day? And three, do you stream movies or watch TV for more than 3.4 hours a day? You see, these numbers aren't random. They're based on studies tracking how much time men spend on games, social media, and on streaming service. If you only answered yes to one of these, then you're probably above average, you're high quality. If you answered yes to two of them, then you're average. If you answered yes to all three, then you're below average, but it's okay, I'm getting you out of there. Now, I wanna see if these numbers are accurate in the real world, so I'm gonna ask my Instagram, two million followers, how much time they spend on all these things. Like, all, right, all right, guys, so I need help. I'm shooting a video right now. I'm gonna ask you three independent questions in the next slides. Just answer honestly. The numbers seem arbitrary, but try to be as honest as possible, okay? Thank you, guys. All right, results are in. It's been about a day since I put the polls up. So according to my followers, 27% of men play video games for more than 2.7 hours a day. 51% use social media for more than 4.7 hours a day. And 13% of men stream television or other streaming services for more than three and a half hours a day. Meaning that you're not alone trying to fix your life. Number two, break bad habits by continuing them. You see, once a man realizes that they're average, they're gonna try to overcome all their bad habits using one of three methods. What you don't realize is only one of those methods is scientifically proven to work and actually get you out of being average. You see, the first group of guys, they'll try to eliminate all their bad habits cold turkey, which leaves them with this void that leads them right back to that bad habit anytime they're bored or stressed. The second group of men will try to cut back on their bad habits by setting time limits. However, these limits become pointless when the urge for the habit is strongest. But the third group of men will replace their bad habit, which according to a Harvard study is the most effective way to get rid of it. So here's how you're gonna do it with all three. For social media, replace addictive apps like social media with things that are less addictive and more productive like LinkedIn or Quora. For video games, you're gonna replace them for learning platforms and capitalize on all their leveling and gaming effects. I want you to replace movies with documentaries, whether that's on business or on health. Now, up until now, you figured out if you're average early on and now have replaced those bad habits with positive habits to make sure you don't go back to them. But I still have four more steps to go because here's where most men fail because they don't know what deficiencies they still lack. This takes me to number three. Number three, I want you to take three tests to know if you have a strong body. Look, all the good habits in the world aren't gonna do much if you're building off a bad physical foundation. So, to help determine if you have a good physical foundation or not, to help explain the three most important things that every man should regularly test if they wanna grow muscle and build a great physique. And then, I'm gonna show you how to test for these without ever having to leave your room. Now, to see if your testosterone levels are good from home, I want you to count in a week how many times you wake up with morning wood. If you wake up four to seven times a week with morning wood, you're good, you're probably in a healthy rate. If it's only two to four times, you should probably look at increasing those levels. And if it's less than two, it is crucial you start working on your testosterone levels to really start building that muscle. Personally, I like taking it a step further and that's what I recommend you to do as well. If you want something more accurate, I did complete blood work. It's called the Complete Panel Package from a company called Marek Health. And actually, I'm gonna go get tested now and I'm extremely curious to see what my testosterone levels are. To do this correctly, right right now, Marek sent me to LabCorp to get my blood work done. So I'm gonna get my blood drawn, and it's a full panel of everything. I get the blood drawn, and I, I never like needle the blood. Let's get this over with. That was intense, bro. I'm a lot of blood drawn. 
But now your boy has to pee in a cup, so. Goddamn. The amount of skill you need to pee in a cup and hold your thing at the same time. I feel like I'm trying to prove my natty status here. So, I just did 40 tests. A full blood work panel. And now my piss. Okay, so that's a wrap. That's probably the most intense blood work panel I've ever done in my life. So now, once that gets processed, by point of contact, James will review. We'll hop on a call and we'll kind of go through everything. Now, after about five to seven days, I finally am back and I had a complete breakdown of all my tests plus a bunch of other biomarkers. My test levels for standard testosterone were right around 600, which is right around the healthy range. However, my free testosterone was right around 19.57, and that was closer to the upper range. What's interesting with Marek Health is once you get your blood work, they don't just give you these numbers and you have to figure it out. I had an immediate call with my health coach, and in that call, they explained to me why the most important form of testosterone to measure is your free testosterone, which a lot of men overlook or don't fully understand. This is why I love Marek Health. You're not only getting a comprehensive approach, you're also getting a professional that looks at your panel and then tells you what to do to optimize your results. However, testosterone is the biomarker that every man thinks about. But there are two more biomarkers that are way more important and so many men ignore. Now, what's cool about this is that you can check your iron levels at home as well. All you're going to do is check your gums. Just open your mouth and pull your top lip upwards. If your gums appear pale, you are likely to have low iron. However, if you have a nice pink or red color, this is a sign of high iron in your body. Now, according to my Marek Health panel, my iron levels were right around 110, which puts me in the healthy range of, of 38 to 169. Whereas my iron saturation levels were right around 32, which is also within that healthy range of 32 to 55. And what's great about this one is that this one was a bit on the lower end. So when I hopped on the call with my health coach, how do you feel with the shoes? I, I do feel or at least like when I look at myself in the mirror, I feel like my body looks leaner. I don't know if it's because I've upped my cardio with, especially with training jujitsu, I've been training a little bit harder. They started giving me advice for my own customized supplement stack that I can then go and buy to help optimize some of these markers. One of them, for example, was taking something called phosphatidylcholine to help my body metabolize and absorb more nutrients from fat. This type of advice that's personalized and tailored to you for your health you can't get this anywhere else. But this takes me to the third and most important test every man should do. And by the way, you can check your calcium levels at home by just checking your fingernails. If the edges appear very dry, you're likely deficient in calcium. If you have well hydrated looking nails, this is a good sign, you're high in calcium. Now, just like my iron test is in foolproof, so when I looked at my panel, my calcium levels came in in a really healthy range, right around 9.5, whereas the healthy range is between 8.7 and 10.2. But again, this level of precision, you can't get this anywhere else. If you guys want to check out Marek Health, as a matter of fact, I urge you guys to check Marek Health and take this level of care of your body. I promise you, the results you will start seeing and the muscle you grow and that aesthetic physique and the energy you feel and the confidence you feel, it's phenomenal. If you guys want this tailored approach to yourself, I'm going to have a link down below to Marek Health with a special 10% discount that's going to make it affordable. But honestly, when it comes to health, you're not looking for affordability. You're looking for something that works. So I want you to also go get your blood work and come back with the results. If you do get them, comment them down below and see how we compare. Four, use only five exercises to build the perfect male physique. I'm going to show you five exercises that according to science will build the best physique possible in the shortest amount of time possible. Now to build a great body, you need to produce electromyography, also known as EMG, in your muscles. Which means you want to focus on exercises that produce the highest amount of EMG and avoid the ones that produce the lowest amount of EMG. So, here are the five exercises, one for each major muscle group that you should focus on. For chest, the best exercise for producing a high EMG response was decline dumbbell bench press. This produced a 93% EMG response in comparison to flat dumbbell bench press that only produced an 85% EMG response. For back, the bent over barbell row produced a 93% EMG response, while a seated row only produced an 83%. 
For biceps, the one-armed preacher curl had the highest EMG response. For triceps, skull crushers on a decline bench had the highest EMG response. And finally, for your side delts, incline lateral raises had the highest EMG response at 66%. Focus on these five and you will maximize or become more efficient in your muscle growth. Number five, buying before the point of diminishing returns will make you rich. I want you to take a look at this video by Warren Buffett. How old is this caddy? I think it's about five years or so. That's crazy, that's crazy. Most of us go buy model new year cars day up. As soon as tax season hits, first thing you do is go buy a car. But here you got a man that's worth $132 billion. And yet, he still drives a 10 year old discontinued Cadillac. Why? Because he understands how to buy for the point of diminishing returns. It makes him rich. And now you're gonna understand this as well, and it's gonna make you rich. You see, the point of diminishing returns is that is when each dollar you spend on buying something starts giving you less and less value. A good example of this would be the difference between the standard iPhone and the iPhone Pro Max. The iPhone Pro Max is double the cost, but it isn't double the value. So to make sure that anything you buy, you always buy before that point of diminishing returns, I want you to follow this three-step process. First, never buy anything brand new. Instead, just buy stuff that's refurbished. It's gonna work just as good, and it's gonna be about 40 to 50% off. Second, trade in anything old you have, car, technology, clothing, and when you sell it or trade it in, you can use that money to make your already refurbished or used item even cheaper. And third, get a product that's a few models back. If it's a phone, make it one or two years old. If it's a car, it can be seven or 10 years old. By following this three-step process, you're gonna get exactly what you need at 70% less than what other people are paying and all that money savings you can now take and invest just like Warren does. Number six, surround yourself with high quality men. And when I tell you this, I'm not even gonna tell you to make go make new friends or even leave your house. You just have to change your online habits. And I'm gonna tell you a story. You see, when I was in college, I had two buddies that wanted to learn Spanish and I don't blame them, right? They were trying to pick up these Latina girls these guys were white, so they had no flavoring, right? So they come to me, obviously, I'm from Honduras, I'm fluent in Spanish. And even though I didn't have much information, what I told them was, if you really wanted to learn Spanish like fluently, the best thing to do would be to hang out with Spanish people or go to a country that just speaks Spanish, right? Fully immerse yourself. The funny part was that one of them actually took my advice. So he did three months abroad in Spain. The other one stayed around me and he never really listened. Cut to two years later, the dude that moved to Spain I speak to him fluently in Spanish. That guy is like fluent, he's smooth. The guy that did it, he tried Duolingo. He had, apparently he was annoyed, a stupid little bird kept annoying him to get back up to the app. The dude can barely say hi. Now, the reason I'm telling you this story is not so you move to another country or to go pick up Latinas, which you should, I mean, they're probably the best ones, but it's more so for you to use this immersion tactic yourself when it comes to finding high quality people. So to do this, you're gonna do it without ever leaving your room first. Replace all your Discord communities, all the ones that you're in for gaming or streaming, replace those with communities that are in self-improvement or guys that are going to the gym or making money. Next, I want you to replace funny movies, all those hours you spend watching guys stream with movies about men building businesses. The Social Network, Steve Jobs, and the founder, Every Man Must Watch. Next, replace any podcasts you listen to with podcasts that are focused on self-improvement, like The Diary of the CEO, the Lex Friedman podcast, or Modern Wisdom. You do this, and just like my friend who used immersion to learn Spanish, you will immerse yourself to naturally be around highly successful individuals. Guess what's gonna happen to you two years from now? Number seven, if you're 18 to 25 years old, forget about women. A lot of men have broken or failed lives because they put their entire focus on women. So I'm gonna show you why if you're 18 to 25 years old, you should ignore women altogether. You see, in a recent study, researchers wanted to know how likely it was for a marriage to succeed depending on someone's age. Here's what's surprising about this. They found that if you get married between 18 and 20 years of age, your chances of divorce are 50%. Couples that get married between 20 and 25 years of age, their chances of divorce are 60%. However, those couples that get married after 25 years old only have a 25% chance of divorce. What this means is that if you're 18 to 25 years old, women should be at the bottom of your priority list because one, they're just gonna have you distracted and two, it's highly likely that the relationship will end. So 
To keep things simple, if you're between 18 and 20 years old, you should be looking just to have fun, but nothing like a serious relationship. If you're between 20 and 25 years old, then you should be dating, getting into a relationship, but you shouldn't be worried or desperate about finding a life partner or trying to get married. However, if you're between 25 and 30 years old, this is when you should start thinking about marriage and actually settling down. If you pay attention to me and you follow this seven step process, you will fix your life and you will no longer be average.